All right, guys, we're back. Um, I got the engine um, assembled again, or for the most part, at least. Uh, hopefully, this is the final time I have to do this. Um, so, yeah, I got the piston in there with the release you guys saw me cut. And I have the head is torqued down. I have the rockers in, uh, the stainless steel valves, and 26 pound springs. They're set to z absolutely zero lash. And um, right now, I've set it. I've set the, uh, I already set top dead center with the degree wheel and it's set at five degrees um, before top dead center. And that's exactly where I had my closest point on both the exhaust and the intake. Um, the intake was down to 17 thousandths clearance and the exhaust was 74. Um, so this is the moment of truth. I'm going to bring the camera over here and uh, we'll see what we got here on the dial indicator. So this is the setup I have. I'm just using a 5 8 wrench. I know it's definitely not the right way to do it. It gouges up a little bit, but it seems to only peen it in, so I'm sure the gasket will work good. And I have the degree wheel on. Um, some of you guys might wonder why it's backwards, uh, meaning why it's not reading from this side. And when you have it, the numbers on, on the um, output side facing out, um, as you're seeing it now, it'll actually be reversed. Um, so. You know, you could you could use it. The degree is a degree, but um, you know, it has the indicator for where the exhaust uh, closes and center line and intake things like that. So uh, I'm gonna set this up in the tripod, and we're gonna see how much clearance we have. I'll start with the intake, and then we'll do the exhaust. All right, I'm hoping you guys can see this. Um, the dial is on zero right now, and um, so I'm at five degrees before top dead center. I'm gonna hold the piston to make sure I'm not moving it at all. And I'm gonna pry up on this and see how much movement we get. 50, 30, 20, 10. So that's about 91. Let's see if it goes back to zero, if I move the crank a little. Uh, I moved a little, so we're, we're right at 90. To, uh, we're at a 90 thousandths of an inch, which is exactly the minimum spec that ARC lists on their website. Okay, so just check the exhaust. Um, it's within spec. It's a little closer than I wanted it to be, uh, especially because the exhaust valve is um, a little more critical because if there's valve float and that valve is hanging open at all, it, your piston's coming up when the valve is closing. So if it floats out and, and doesn't seal when it should, there's more of a chance of it hitting, whereas the intake, they're both coming at each other at the same time. Um, so, you know, there's less chance of, of it floating and hanging out, um, staying open for a little bit. But um, that being said, um, I'm happy with it. I'm going to go with it and um, seal this thing up and, and see how it runs. Um, something that's important, uh, for especially for aftermarket cams with a flat tappet style lifter, is you need you need some kind of zinc additive. Um, they just they don't have nearly as much zinc in new oils as they as they used to. Um, so yeah, just you know this this it's not cheap. I think this was like nineteen dollars at the local auto parts store. But um, this is meant to treat. It says like um, for a whole engine. So I'm figuring uh, five quarts. And you know these motors don't even take a quart. So. You know, it, it's it's a little bit of added uh, assurance, you know, for for a few dollars. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just put it back together and um, see what else we can get into with it. All right, it's a few days later. Uh, I've been a little busy, but we're back at it. Um, you already saw how we timed uh, Joey's motor, the Honda clone motor, and uh, the timing was um, he needed to advance it. Uh, what, what did you have to advance? Like four more degrees, five more degrees? I think five, because the flywheel was at 27 and I needed to get it at 32. Yeah, uh, yeah, that sounds about right, because that was only set for 28, the, the flywheel. Um, these are supposed to come at um, 32, which is the spec for my cam. We put it, uh, we, we tested it with the light and the degree wheel, and it actually came out to pretty much uh, right around 35. So, you know, the issue probably um, isn't with ARC's flywheel, it's probably with the grind for the uh, Woodruff key on the um, crankshaft itself. I mean, I trust like this quality American product over this motor from China, which costs 
as much as the whole flywheel. So, um, so yeah, we set it for 32. That's where I wanted to be uh, for the cam sheet. And um, set the valve lash. There's supposed to be three thousandths intake and exhaust. Um, you know, we're not racing these. These these are just cruiser motors. So I, I backed them up a little. I got four in the intake and uh, six on the exhaust. Six thousandths and, and four. Um, so yeah, this motor is pretty much all set. I'm gonna start putting the recoil housing back on the gas tank, the carb. I'm gonna go for a full assembly and um, probably won't get it running tonight. Um, so uh, we'll see where we end up with it.